Hello, my name's Zoe and I'm Amy and we are cancer support workers at Somerset Foundation Trust. We are non-medical members of the cancer care team. We support people from diagnosis, throughout treatment and living with and beyond cancer. So we offer patients and their families a safe space to um, come and speak. Um, we also offer signposting and can we refer on to um, local services and support groups. And, and we're here as a, as a, a listen, listening ear. We aim to offer all patients where appropriate the opportunity to have these conversations with us. Um, you'll often hear them referred to as holistic needs assessments or HNAs for sure. So when we send you out an appointment for holistic needs assessment, we'll also include a concerns checklist. These might appear a bit kind of tick boxy, but they're really useful in helping patients identify what they might want to talk with us during the HNA. So a really good example of this is where one gentleman had back to me that he didn't think he had any worries or concerns at all. And it was only when he saw it written down in black and white that he realized he did have questions about things or wanted to know more, or actually there were services available in that area. So the concerns we talk about are really wide ranging. They can be practical things such as, um, you know, work, you know, trying to roll down a job, what happens if you can't go to work, finance is normally quite a big one. Um, just getting to and from the hospital can be quite expensive from the car parking. What if you can't get to the hospital? And um, there's, you know, emotional concerns around you know, your partner, you might be caring for somebody, you might have children, how do I tell them? Um, uh, and there's other things such as, you know, physical things, you know, your appearance might change. Um, and, you know, how you feel about those. Um, you know, we're here as a listening ear, you know, and uh, to cover the, a wide range of emotional concerns as well. These are just a few examples and patients are welcome to contact us at any time um, if they have any other concerns or whether they just need that listening ear to talk everything through. So we're based at both Yeovil and Musgrove Hospital. We work really closely with the clinical teams and they can also signpost into our service. And um, we often contact patients via um, face to face, telephone or email. Um, and if you want to get in touch with us, you can find our details on the Somerset Foundation Trust website or you can email us. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.